Hello, my friends, this is Eric Parker with One Number Tableau Experts. In this week's video, we're gonna cover uh, how to customize your date formatting in Tableau. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and jump into a worksheet where we'll do some of that. So I've got uh, some Superstore data here. I'm looking at order count. Currently, it's broken down by a date field, but it's broken down by year. Now, let's say we wanna break this down by day, and then we want some sort of custom you know, date formatting. So maybe it's like DEC, December, 09-2023, you know, something like that. Okay, uh, let's get into it. So first of all, uh, I need to hit the drop down on my date field and convert this into a day uh, date format. Okay, so first of all, uh, we got date parts up at the top, right? So those are more kind of like date units or date names. So if I picked just day from there, it would just give me day numbers one through 31. It wouldn't give me, you know, every possible month, day, year combination. Um, so you might think, well, let me pick the month, day, year option, right? Let me go to this more breakout and then go to custom and, and choose month, day, year. Um, but I'm going to let you in on a little secret here, which is if you're ever picking your dates from the top half of your uh, formatting options, what we call date parts, you're very limited in how you can format those, right? So for example, if I right clicked on one of these headers and then I selected format, and I hit the drop down here for dates, it just says automatic, that's it. You can't format that differently. I think a lot of people throw in the towel here and they say, stupid Tableau, why can't I format this the way I want? It is kind of funky, but bear with me because there is a way to do this. So what we'll do is hit the drop down here and instead I'm gonna choose this option, which is a date value version of day. Um, so if I do that, it's gonna get a little funky at first, because one of the big differences between date parts at the top and the date values down here is how they naturally format in Tableau. Um, so date parts are discrete and they will give you labels, whereas date values, like where we just picked from, are continuous and they will give you axes. So it's trying to plot all these, you know, whatever it is, 1200 days or so against an axis but we can override that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the drop down there. We're gonna stay selected on date value day, but instead of the format uh, being communicated as continuous, we're gonna change this to discrete. Okay, so now you're probably looking at this and thinking, are we basically back to where we started? Yes, we are, kind of, but here's the big difference. Now watch this, I right click on one of these date labels and say format, hit my drop down. Look at that, huh? Check out all those options. So first of all, there's like 15, 20 pre-baked options. So if any of these are how I wanna format the date, then that is fantastic. I can just pick that. Or if I wanna do something custom, I can choose custom. So for example, notice that I, there's little indicators here telling you like D for day, M for month. So if I wanted something like, hey, I want it, you know, month, 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 dash, day, day, dash, year, year. You know, I can kind of format this however it is that I want it to look. So there you go. That's a, a little uh, breakdown into how to do custom date formatting. Look out for header uh, formatting versus pane, right? The, there might be a difference depending on where you're visualizing this. So you may sometimes need to uh, format in one versus the other. Thanks for checking out this video. Um, Ollie and I drop videos like this every week here on YouTube. So feel free to follow along. Also, if you check out this indicator, this little info button up here in the top corner, we run Tableau classes every month, Tableau prep, Tableau desktop, calculations, dashboarding, anything, you name it. We also do office hours. So if you ever need help on something, you just want to jump in and get an hour of our help, you can always sign up for that. So thank you for being here and we look forward to catching you on another video soon. Thanks.